Number 53. Ali invested his savings in two investment funds. The amount he invested in A was 7,000 less than the amount invested in B. Fund A returned 3% and Fund B returned 4%. How much did he invest in B if the total profit was 1260? Okay, so we're looking for the amount invested in B. Um, but they're also talking about A. So just for simplicity, let's use two variables. We'll let X be the money in A and Y be the money in B. And we're looking for Y, right? We're looking for Y, but it might be easier to use two variables just to set everything up. So it says the amount he invested in A was 7,000 less than the amount invested in B. So the amount invested in A is X, and we're told it's 7,000 less than the amount in B. So that's Y minus 7,000. Let's check that. The amount invested in A is 7,000 less than the amount in B. So the amount in B, which is Y, minus 7,000. Okay, what else do we have? Fund A returned 3% and Fund B returned 4%. Okay. How much did he invest in B if the total profit was 1260? Okay, the total profit was 1260. We can get an equation for that. So the total profit from A, well, A pays 3%. So 3% of the amount invested in A, this is the total profit from A, plus the total profit from B. So B returns 4%. So that's 4% of the amount invested in B. So this is the profit, I'll just put P from A, and this is the profit, this is P from B, profit from B, equals the total profit earned, which is 1260. And again, we're looking for Y. So this is pretty nice now, because we know that X is equal to Y minus 7,000. So we can replace it with that. So this is 0.03 times y minus 7,000, and that's equal to, uh, plus, <laughs> plus 0.04 y equals 1260. All right, let's be really careful here. Now let's distribute and solve for y. So 0.03 times y is just 0.03 y. And then 0.03 times 7,000, so 3% of 7,000, is 210, so minus 210, plus 0.04y, and that's equal to 1260. Good stuff. All right, so now we can combine the y's. So we have 0.03y plus 0.04y, that's 0.07y, minus 210, equals 1260. And we add the 210 to the other side, so plus 210, plus 210. So we end up, and we come back up here, 0.07y equals, and then 1260 plus 210 is 1470. Divide by 0 0.07, divide by 0 0.07. Putting this in the calculator, so 1470 divided by 0 0.07. Um, wow, wow, big number. It's a nice even number, uh, $21,000. So that's how much money was invested in B, and that's what the question wanted to know. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.